Hey everybody, this is Faint, and I wanted to give you a quick update on the RQ-11B Raven with the gimbaled sensor payload. Uh, there in the distance you can see a boat I want to take a look at. Unfortunately it's so far away. But the nice thing is I have a backpack with the Raven in it, which I can drop. Now if you've looked at this add-on before, you will know this part where you can assemble the Raven. Here it gets covered up by some bushes to hide the cool animation. Well, that's fine. We'll circle around a little bit. Uh, the difference between uh, the old version and the new version is that this version, when the Raven is created, so is the ground control station. There you can see I picked it up. And here I am picking up the Raven. Here I'm holding both the Raven on the left and the GCS or ground, ground control station on the right. Here I'm going to drop the Raven there, and now I'm going to drop the ground control station. Nice thing about that is you can pick them up, pick both of them up at the same time, move them both to where you want to go. I am launching the Raven. And I'm going to go over to the ground control station, and you can see the uh, interface for the camera and stuff like that is now off onto the um, ground control station. The nice thing is, is that I can actually use the arrow keys to move the target of interest. Basically, it's a marker on the map which corresponds to a position in the game world. And if I use the arrow keys, um, I can move that marker onto different parts of the, the map. So uh, the up arrow key is for north, um, the down arrow key is for south, left is for west, and right is for east. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you can also hit uh, up and left if you want to go northwest, like I'm doing. Well, actually, in here I'm going southeast, so I'm hitting down and to the right at the same time. So you're not locked into doing only north or only south or only west or east. You can do them both at the same time, which is really nice. Something I didn't actually anticipate working. So here I am following this boat, and uh, I just made this little mission. Uh, kind of based on uh, real-world missions that I've seen uh, UAVs used for, uh, such as um, drug interdiction uh, types of missions where there's a, a boat moving offshore and it has drugs in it and um, use these unmanned aerial vehicles to track the boats. Here I'm um, flying over the uh, boat and one of the nice things about this new camera system is that when the camera overflies something, uh, it looks off to the right um, when normally it could only look off to the left. The old version could do that also, but it was fake. But now when it does it, it's realistic. Uh, here I'm moving behind the boat and um, approaching it from the rear and the camera can can move forward to uh, target whatever you're looking at. Again, the old version could do this also, but it wasn't very realistic. Now it's totally realistic, and I meant it from the beginning. When you move the camera um, in any direction, you get a little indicator on the screen that says it's, like in this case, slewing west. So I actually moved the camera a little bit to the west uh, at the end there, and so it says uh, which direction you're moving the camera in. It's a little funky when the, the UAV starts circling an area, and you might lose uh, your sense of direction. Um, and you might want to you know, move the camera to the left right now and then move the left arrow key, but really you want to move it northeast, so you want to hit um, the up and the right arrow keys if you want to move the... Uh, the camera target closer to where the boat is. You can always tell, you know, which direction you need to move in just by looking at the compass that's displayed on the map, or displayed on the, uh, the screen here. Here I'm just lining up the camera a little bit better, just to get a better view of what's going on on this boat. I've also changed a few other things that some people had reported to me were causing some problems, such as uh, this baseball element that I was using for the strobe. Uh, I got rid of the baseball and I just had the light point happen right on top of the um, Raven, so uh, hopefully that will 
cause less problems in multiplayer. It didn't have any problems in single player, but with multiplayer, um, it was creating some crashing issues. So here the target boat is meeting up with uh, another boat out on the horizon. The, uh, the camera zoom functions are the same as before, um, using X and C to zoom in and zoom out. Uh, you can also still change the elevation of the camera, and, or of the Raven with the camera on it, um, using uh, W and S to change uh, altitude. And you can still change the uh, the radius, the circling radius, by using A and D. You can also change vision modes from uh, daytime camera to night vision to white hot and black hot uh, infrared. And kind of a nice uh, side note, the um, data stream on the bottom right part of your screen is uh, much faster. It used to be updated once every half second, now it's uh, updated once every uh, tenth of a second. So it's basically uh, updating in real time, or close to it. Well, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this short little update. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to fill them out in the forum, which I will link to in the description below. Thanks for watching.